Today we are creating a coffee cafe menu design using Kittle. You no longer need expensive or hard to use design programs for intricate or complex layouts because I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful two column grid complete with food items, specials, drinks, and other typical items you would see on a menu. And hey, before we get started, if you haven't used Kittle yet, go ahead and sign up at the link in the description. It's completely free. There's no credit card or personal information required for you to get in and start using the amazing features of Kittle. Okay, so we're going to base our menu based on this Blind Crow Coffee Shop logo, which we already did in another video, which you can see right here. I'll link it in the cards for you. But we're going to use this design and get started, and then we're going to use elements from this logo for our menu. So what we want to do is turn off the trim view, and then we're going to select everything here and just slide it off the board because we don't need this main logo anymore. We're going to make a cafe menu, so let's get rid of this texture. Let's go up here and change our name to Blind Crow Menu Design. And then what we're gonna do is go to Settings and we're gonna change pixels to inches because it's a little bit easier that way. And then we're gonna go 8.5 by 11 here. And then we're going to start taking elements from our logo and start making our layout. But first, let's talk about what the layout's gonna look like. So we're gonna have a two column layout here with one header up here at the top, and that's kind of what you can expect. So let's just delete that just so you know that's the way we're gonna go. It's very common for menu layouts. And what we'll do first is go ahead and turn on the grid because the grid's gonna help us with these different boxes, make sure things are lined up left and aligned right. So we're going to grab this monogram piece, this little scroll monogram piece, put it here in the middle. Then we're going to take this panel, panel that says coffee shop. We're going to drag that over. And then what we're going to do is put it on the right and the left. So we're going to have kind of an amended version of this logo for the menu. So we just need to zoom in and slide this over until it's hidden behind there. And then what we'll do is we'll duplicate it. You can alt and or option and drag to do that. You can copy with alt and option or drag. And then what we want to do is align our text here in the middle. We're going to do a little bit of just tweaking to do this. And then we will hit the middle align button here for the text. And that will send it right there in the middle. And then we'll increase the variable width just a little bit so that it fills this space. Then what we can do is duplicate this text. Again, alt, option, and drag. And we'll put it over here. We'll double click in, highlight all of it, and type the blind crow. And then when you click out, you can see that the settings take place, and I think it's a little too big. So, it, yeah, it's a little big for what we want here. So we're going to just decrease the size until we feel comfortable with it. And then we'll do the same thing to the other side, just decrease it until it feels nice and comfortable. And then we'll align this exactly where we want it. So then we'll select everything, group it all together. You can Command G with group. We're going to send this to the top because it's at the top of the menu. And then we will call this the header up here at the top. We have a starting place for our menu. We're going to make it a little bit smaller here. And then we don't need this main logo anymore. We have got the components that we need, so we're going to go ahead and delete it so that it's not in the way. What I think might be nice is a border around this entire menu. So we can add this square. We can click the main object color and click the dash here. That makes the fill go away, and then we will add a border width with the same color as this blue that we're working with and then we're going to size it all around our border so we can use the left and right nod, uh, nodes here to make it go left and right and up and down and things like that so if we increase this width and then we zoom in a little bit we can tell where it lines up with these little squares the little parts of the grid here and we want to make sure that it's aligning perfectly with how we want it. So we've got this all the way up to that next square there. So we're gonna zoom out and then we're going to turn on the trim view so that you can see what I mean. So when we turn on the trim view, boom, it's perfectly, uh, it's perfectly aligned with how we want it. Uh, it's a little bit maybe too intense, so we're going to take the opacity and turn it down to something maybe like 40 or 30 just to see how we want it. Yeah, and it's looking pretty good like this here. So it's not too, it's not bringing too much attention to the border, but really the main menu items that we want. So we'll name that frame and then lock it because we don't want anything uh, to adjust there. So now we're going to create a divider line. So we just can add another 
another block here. We can take this divider line, scale it up, and then we're going to put that in the middle. That's gonna divide our food items from our drink items here. So then we can start adding text and you can see we have a ton of paragraph layouts already here that you can go through and see if something like that might fit your menu. But we're just going to add text normally here and then we're going to start making our menu items. So we're going to call this all day breakfast and then we're going to expand this so that it fits here and what I'm going to do is speed up this part and you're going to see me make a main dish title and then a description along with the price so if I duplicate this all day breakfast here again which you can do with the alter option key and drag we're going to pick a different font something a little bit more serify kind of looks a little bit more vintage a little bit more uh, old school and then we're going to create the dish and the description here along with the price so it's this is going to be a centered layout here then all we have to do is duplicate it and make it one block apart you can see I'm using that grid to make sure that everything is equal distance apart and so we're just duplicating these little groups here the uh, the main dish title along with the description and the price we're just easily changing duplicating along and it's a pretty easy process once you have your first grouped text all ready to go it's pretty easy to do now we're going to highlight all of this here and group it because we want this to be one part and you don't have to do this i'm doing it just so that if i select something i don't accidentally move something i'll probably leave that ungrouped for the remaining side on the other side because it's going to be a little bit of a different layout but we're just going to label this the all day breakfast group and so that i know everything in this group is in that left side of the menu then we're going to label our divider line here i'll just label it divider uh, so that way i don't get the layers confused now we're going to create a sides and extras option down here in this bottom area that you see there's space down below all day breakfast so we're going to find a simple panel to house that title so let's open up the simple components we're going to drag over this panel and then what we're going to do is duplicate the text at the top the all day breakfast make sure everything is the same color and then we're going to make sure that text says extras and sides and then we're going to begin adding our extras so things like bacon just stuff that would typically be a side at a breakfast cafe or something you go to so it really only needs the title of the side along with the price and you can see it's pretty easy to do we have everything in one housed block and then you can just hit enter and make sure all of those prices are right to the right of those and then we're just going to do a little bit of tweaking to make sure the spacing is correct down here at the bottom then we're going to have some extra text just to make sure it's pretty common that your server needs to know if you have any allergies or anything so we just have some extra text down here at the bottom and it also helps fill that space so make sure you have some sort of message like that you could probably do it all the way across the bottom if you want as one line but I like it like this as two lines hey if you're getting value out of this coffee cafe menu tutorial let me know by hitting the thumbs up button and that red subscribe button we greatly appreciate your support here on YouTube and let me know in the comments are you designing a coffee shop or cafe menu I would love to know so comment below because I'd really like to know what you think about using Kittle for layouts such as these all right let's get back to the tutorial so now we need to start working on the right side of our menu which is going to be the drinks we're gonna have a whole bunch of drinks that someone could order so we're going to label this coffee here and then we're going to list a couple of different options we need to duplicate some text from the left side and bring it over to the right so we're gonna have things like espresso and make sure we're duplicating the right things and we're going to have our drink list on the left and then we're going to have our prices on the right very similar to you see how we did there with the extras and the sides it's pretty easy to do and then what might be nice is if we find a coffee image some kind of graphic that helps us uh, you know just draw the eye make it a little bit more visually enhancing so I like this coffee plant here I think it looks pretty cool next to the coffee menu and we're gonna make it that same blue and then we don't need a fill we can just turn off the fill because that background is already kinda of that off-white color and that's looking pretty cool and then we're going to continue on with the rest of our drinks so we're going to have a 
regular drinks option. So we're going to have things like sparkling water and maybe some soda type products along with our prices over here on the right. And those are typically a little bit less expensive than coffee. Then we're gonna have smoothies. This is a pretty awesome cafe that we're creating here. So we're gonna have a couple of different options and these smoothies are gonna have items listed under them the ingredients so we want to make sure that this layout is slightly different than the top two it's not just as simple as listing a drink along with the price and then we have some space down here in the bottom right and we're going to have a specials option there so what we need to do is find a panel that we think really fits the design here and we have tons of large frames down here if you go to the ornament section we can pick any one of these frames that we like best I think this one is going to fit the layout down here so then we can just make this a little bit bigger and then we can start playing with the colors to make sure they're correct we don't need all of these different extraneous colors we can just turn off these blues and then we're going to make the outer part of the frame that dark blue so that it fits. And then we're going to start with our specials layout. So we'll add some text. And then I think what might be cool here is kind of a vintage script uh, style. And it's the same kind of script that we had on the main logo there. Um, and it just helps kind of create some interest in a different part of the menu. It kind of draws your eyes to like, oh, what are the specials here? So we'll list a couple things there. I just d copied some text in that we already had. And then I'm going to make a roasted daily section up here. I think it's pretty cool. Then I'm just going to add a couple of visual items, some little elements, some Victorian style elements on the left and right of specials. Again, it kind of draws your eyes to that important part of the menu. Then I'm going to create an outer border of this frame just to fill a little bit of that space. And then I'm going to find a couple of pieces to put at the top and bottom of this divider line. Again, just to give it a little bit more creativity, kind of these French flourish pieces here looks really cool on the top and bottom of this divider line. So we need to have a couple of items up here on the top. We need to have our address and then we also need to have our hours of operation. So we're going to do the same thing that we did there at the bottom except not italic, just a little bit easier, a little bit more straightforward, just the regular so that people can easily read it. You could put this at the bottom of your menu if you wanted to. It's just nice to have in case somebody takes one home or shares it with someone. Always have your address and your hours of operation. So this is looking pretty good, but now I'm thinking that this coffee plant is not going to work so much. And if I, I open up our one of our recent projects, we have the Blind Crow badge option the logo option that we made and I'll link the video up in the cards for you but I think that would look cool as a stamp so this coffee plant isn't quite taking up enough space it is a cool idea and you could totally work with some illustrations but I think if we copy this badge in and then we start working with the size here I think it could be cool kind of as a stamp and you could probably even do this as an embossed stamp a lot of a lot of really nice authentic professional kind of uh, old school cafes that are a little bit more elegant have this embossed badge on their on their on their menus and this could look really cool so I think that this is looking really nice I think we can size it up just a little bit to fill this space so let's make this just a little bit of a lighter color again it kind of gives it that depth it kind of gives it that uh, 3d aspect to our menu here last but not least let's add a little bit of texture just to give it that paper feel and you probably wouldn't even need this if you are going to print this on actual paper but I think it looks cool here just for the sake of this tutorial so let's pick a paper texture and then we'll drag the opacity down so that it's a little bit more uh, just a little bit more realistic it's not so intense here so that's looking pretty cool like that and then the last thing we need to do is make sure we download our menu and so we need to go over here and since we're gonna print it we're gonna put in 300 in the DPI and that's gonna give you a really nice big file and then you can hit PDF and it's gonna download it for you and you're going to be on your way to send it to the printer and get your menu printed out so here is our finished Blind Crow coffee shop menu design completely done in Kittle. 
Now you've seen how to use Kittle for more intricate layouts like a menu. Kittle is great for so much more, not just logos or labels or the other things that you might see on our homepage. You can go as far as you want with Kittle. And the best part is, like I mentioned earlier, it's completely free for you to get in and use our fonts, our elements, our illustrations, all of our features, everything like that. Now, for example, with a menu design such as this, you typically will want a file type like a PDF so that you can send it to a printer with a high DPI and that would be available to you in the pro subscription, which you can find out more about via the link in the description. And speaking of designs, we would love to see yours. So don't forget to tag us on social media and you can find those links down in the description as well. Now, before you check out the other tutorials here on the channel, do me a quick favor and hit that red subscribe button if you haven't already. That's just a way for you to know when we upload a new tutorial to the channel and so that way you don't miss out on any of the amazing things coming out in Kittle. Thank you so much for watching and for using Kittle. Until next time, create magic.